Hey, good, good, good. We're gonna be doing a documentary. Documentary. Why stupid on school is horrible for you. It's good. Um, I actually do know a couple of doctor stuff. School stands for six cool hours of our lives, or seven cool hours of our lives. The reason why I say seven is because on that school, the end at around in the middle of seven hours and in the middle of six hours. So I don't really know. <laughs> you got both of your walkers. And plus, math stands for mental abuse to humans. And home and homework stands for um half of my brain wasted on r random knowledge. So because um school. There's a bunch of other reasons why school is horrible for you. Um, you're getting taught by people you don't know, people you don't trust. You, I mean, I would rather want to be taught by people that I know, not people I don't know. Because you honestly never know what they'll do to you since you don't really, since some people don't really trust strangers these days. Or, or any days. Because you honestly never know what strangers could do. People that don't know you. And plus they're also teaching for a job because so they can get money. That's the only reason why they're doing it. I mean, why wouldn't they do it? It's because they're only doing it for money. They're not doing it to actually help you. They're doing it for money. It's all why they're doing it. And plus, Goose, they, um, um, too much knowledge, too much hard working stuff could also um, give you a headache, Goose, give you a fever. Something that has to do with the brain. You know what I mean, Goose? And, it could give you a migraine too, like because I've struggled with something hard and got a migraine, so and I think a fever too. It was horrible, so that's why I wouldn't recommend anyone going to school. I mean, that's why technology is a thing in life. They got they got technology for helping you learn. They got calculators for math. Like you don't need you don't need to solve it. You don't know, you don't need to know how to solve it. I mean, solving it is just too much work for the brain. That's why when I feel like I solve stuff, I sometimes get a headache because it could be hard. Like, you never know if it will be hard. But it's like, what if you have a brain fart, You know what I mean? It's because, yeah, like, like, like a long one, a long brain fart. Because you never know when that happens. It's not like you can tell the future in your brain, right, Because During a time, you can too. It was just too much knowledge for the brain. Because, yeah. Because, the thing is that we really need to get about is that school is unhealthy for everyone. It's because, you know, it's because a really good reason that I would say that is because, um, oh, I'm gonna get it, it's good. The, why, the good, the very good reason why I say that is because, it's because, you know how some people really like candy? Because candy is not good for you? Well, some people don't know that and some people do, but they still like it. And good they eat it all the time. Just like, school's not healthy for you, but some people like it and some people don't. But they still go to it. It's because, um, that, that's a really good, um, explain for sentence to say about schools. Because, like, some people, it, like, it's not good for you because, our, um, teachers don't really care about your mental stability. They just care if you're good, good grades or good jobs or, but, like, what about your mental stability? That's the problem. Like, health, comes first than everything is not like math problems or like learning that doesn't come first your health because it's the person that agrees it's the person that is more important goose than a bunch of random knowledge that you don't have to be wasted by or be taught by but it's because it doesn't really school doesn't teach you nothing i hate to break it to you y'all that really love school and I don't hate to break it to you for y'all that really hate school, just like me. <laughs> uh, if I love school, I wouldn't be making this talk around me about school right now. It's a goose. A good goose, seriously. I don't know why some people love school. But until they find out the real reason, then they'll start hating it, I bet. Because look at that lantern fly, goose. It's so cute, Rukus. Because, yeah, I didn't step on it. just good, Rukus. Because... Yeah, like, school is obviously very, it interrupts your immune system. Because what if you're, okay, guys, so what if your mind is in the middle of thinking of something that's more important than school, you know what I mean? Because then school interrupts it by, like, interrupting your brain because your, because the teachers are trying to make you think of something else, Goose. So like, for example, 5 plus 3. So if you're doing, like, a, 
I don't know, like a hard one grease. Like it brings really stuck on, you know what I mean? Like five, five um, times 500 grease. You want, some people probably wouldn't know what that is because some people aren't really good at times, but they're only good at like, um, they're only good at like plus and minus grease. Because what if division two, and that's also hard. Like, because what if your mind is in the middle of something more important? Because what if, okay, guys, for example, I know this might be sad to think of, because what if your mom died, or your dad died, or someone you know, like your brother or sister died, or someone that you really deeply love that died, or no goose that died. Your brain is in the middle of thinking about it, because your brain is, like, stuck in it. Because then all of a sudden the teacher um, gives you a paper with a bunch of math questions, so, like, some learning support paper goose that you have to work on, or else you won't pass this grade and you really want to but you're in the middle of also thinking of something that tragic happened but you can't get your mind off of it so there's what your mind is in the middle of thinking of that the teacher gives you that paper and tells you to work on it right away when she hands it over to you because um you tell the teacher that you were in the middle of thinking of something where she says i don't care work on the paper please because that is unacceptable. Like you're thinking of something, in a, you're thinking of something that's so important, but the teacher doesn't even care about it. Sometimes professors are just not professors because they don't think good enough in their brain to understand what you're ta- talking about. This. So that's why not only school is horrible itself, teachers sometimes are too. Because you honestly never know what they're going to say when you're trying to say something important more than school itself. It's good. That's why. Some people don't like school goose. And goose, like, I don't, some people don't really know why some people like school. It's, it's really confusing. It, it is to me, too. But goose, um, school is nothing but, like, <laughs> a dump. <laughs> but it's for real, though. It is. It actually, it is. And also, goose, it interrupts your mind when you're thinking about something important. You know what I mean? Like, important. Or like you're thinking about something that tragic happened or something that you really love more than school but your professor does not agree with you and just keeps giving you more and more important learning lessons or something like that that you're not focused on. Something that you don't really care about. Something that you don't dream of doing. Something that you don't dream of working on in life. But then all of a sudden your teacher says, you will learn this stuff you will see this stuff later. That's why you're learning on at, at school. No. You, you, it's okay, guys. You end up saying that, but I never see it in life. No one ever, no grown-ups ever seen in life, guys. They're just saying that so you can, so they could get money and force you to, to um, purposely work it, guys, out. But, yeah. And the thing is, is that um, school is just a brain rotting place too if you think about it like just for example you're playing this game called um you're playing this game called um it's like a very inappropriate game for example that and goes as you know inappropriate stands for brain rotting all the bad words that you can think of stands for that piece. and you were playing that game. That stands for brain rotting. Imagine that game is just like school. So equal that together is inappropriate and brain rotting. Any bad word you can think of in this world that has to do with that stuff, goose. But it's good. School and is really bad for you. And so goes. If you like, if you were homeschooled, for example. There's a new quarantine happening or something like that. And you have a new way of doing homeschool. You decide to get on your phone and use the technology that is a thing for, um, for example, to see that. Because that's why technology is a thing. To learn, do fun stuff. <laughs> because most importantly, learning. Because this stuff actually helps you learn. That's why technology is a thing. Because you think about it, school is not technology whatsoever. It's just... Random stuff like poor people would use. But yeah, but just regular stuff. Like, I mean, calculators. They were actually back before phones. Because it's not really technology if you think about it. Because for some reason, 
Calculators are allowed to be used at school, but you only use them if the teachers say so. Because that's not really what your brain is thinking of. So because, yeah, and plus because you are, what if you are like, um, you're really trying to focus on something that is, um, that you're trying to focus on something else in your brain, but the teacher doesn't care, of course. Because let me know what you think of this documentary. See you guys, guys.